Many people are dropping off from ministry, from service. What is the problem? My name is David Oginde and I just want to share with us on this particular matter about remaining true to the call that we have received. Welcome to Sitam Church Online. In our last season, we talked about the conviction, having a radical conviction so that you can continue with the work to which God has called you. Today, I want to talk about another thing that can keep us going and remaining true to that which God has called us to do. And that is, our lives must be real. Our lives must be real. Paul speaks to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians chapter number 4, verse number 2, and he says, Rather, we have renounced secret and shameful ways. Brothers and sisters, in the seasons that we are living in, so many people are living a double life. So many people are living in hypocrisy. So many people are living a life that is contrary to what they say. And so sometimes you meet a person and you imagine that you know who they are only to hear that some things that are happening or they have done and you get so shocked, so surprised. Why? Because they are living a double life. And so you cannot have an impact. You can tr not transform society. You cannot win others. You cannot have followers as a leader when your life is double. Where you are living one thing in public and you are living a love, another life in private. That will not get you where we ought to be. And so if you are going to be a man or woman that God uses to transform society, to impact the world, you must be a man or woman whose life is real. Our lives must be real. What we do in public, what we do in private, must all be congruent so that whatever people see is what they get. Paul says, we renounce secret and shameful ways. I like the word renounce. Renounce means that it is something that is in you, but you lay aside. It is something that is happening but you lay it aside. Life is such that there are many things that we would want to hide from people. There are many things in our, like they say, skeletons in our closet that you would want to hide from people. Now, what Paul is saying here is that we do not just cover them up, but we actually renounce them. That means that if it is a secret activity, we stop getting into that activity. We stop doing that thing. If it is something that is happening in your life, you run away from it. You get away from it because it will not be part of your life. It is something that is going to cause you to live a double life. If you are engaged in a relationship that is illicit, you get out of that relationship so that you can live the straight and narrow path. That is what renouncing is all about, getting rid of it, getting away from it, doing that which is right and living a life that is straightforward. That is normally not easy. We are people who readily get engaged with things that, are, uh, that we know are shameful, but we go ahead and do them in private, in secret. And Paul says we renounce secret. What a secret means is that you just know it yourself or with a, another person and you keep it covered, you keep it unknown and you hope that it will never be discovered. That kind of a life is a double life. A person who is going to be used of God, a person who is going to have impact cannot afford to live a double life, cannot afford to have secret and shameful ways. And so the thing to do is to renounce it, get rid of it, run away from it. Joseph 
when he found himself confronted by a woman who wanted to get to sleep with him, he did not argue, he did not reason. He took off, he ran away from that situation. He renounced that secret and shameful way so that he could remain true to the calling that God had called him. And you find that in many people. Paul says, I beat my body and keep it under so that when I have preached to others, I myself am not cast away. That is a prayer I pray for myself all the time because I know the activities, the life that we live is such that we are so easily entangled with many, many things. And I have to constantly come to God and say, Father, forgive me. Father, deliver me uh, from this situation, from these activities, from this kind of thinking, so that I can remain true to the call that God has called me to. Many of us are leaders. Some of us are followers. Some of us are uh, in, in ministry. Some of us are in business. You are in a workplace, wherever you find yourself. If you live a double life, let me tell you, you're headed to destruction. If you live a double life, you are headed to destruction. Because one of these days is going to come out. One of these days is going to be revealed. And people are going to discover that the person that they thought they knew is not the real person. He or she is a totally different person. You are living what uh, uh, President Trump would call fake. And so you, are a, you have a fake life. My call to us is that we should live lives that are real, that we should live lives that are authentic. Wherever we are in public, whether we are in private, whether we are with friends or we are with enemies, whether we are with acquaintances or we are with strangers, our lives are the same all the time. In that way, let me tell you, you don't have to remember who you are. You just be who you are. You know the problem with being fake is you have to remember what you're supposed to be in a different situation because how you presented yourself last time is how you need to present yourself again this time. And you can't remember how you presented yourself last time. So you have to remember. But if you are yourself, when you are real, you just be yourself. Life becomes easy. Life becomes straightforward. You don't have to struggle with anything. And that's why if we are going to be men and women who bring transformation, who are used of God, the call is our lives must be real. Our lives must be real. I'm talking to us and you are listening and you are thinking, my life is not real. If people would discover who I really am, they would be shocked. You know, there can be a change. There can be a transformation. God can help you to change direction like he did for, uh, for, uh, for Joseph, like he did for Saul, like he did for many other people. He can do that for you so that you can live a straight and narrow path. I want to pray with you. I want to pray that God would help you to live a straightforward life, a real life. You know, living a real life is an easy thing. It's an easy thing. Like I said, you don't have to remember anything. It is so much easier to just wake up and go and do you, about your business without having to bother. But if you are living a fake, you are always afraid who might be knowing your secrets, who will discover what you are or who you are. I want you to live a simple life. And I want to pray with you that you do so. Let us pray together. The place to begin living real is to give your life to Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that as many as receive him, he gives them the power to become children of God. When you are a child of God, you can live a real life. If you have never made a commitment to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to pray with you this time. Say this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you today and I turn my life over to you. I pray that you forgive me my sin. Deliver me from double life. 
and make me a child of God that I may live for you and walk with you all the days of my life. I pray this in Jesus' name. Father, I want to pray for every man, every woman, every boy, every child who has prayed that prayer, seeking to get to know you. Your word says, as many as received him, received Jesus. You gave them the power to become the children of God. And so, this dear brother, this dear sister, today is a child of God. And I want to pray for all of us, therefore, who are children of God, the Lord, you will give us the grace to live a straightforward life, to live a life that is real, that we do not have to wake up to think of how we could be. But on a daily basis, we are living lives that are real and are true. I pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening. I want to pray that your life will be real. That from this day we will re renounce every secret and shameful way so that you may walk in the light of God. God bless you. My name is David Oginde and thank you for joining us on Sitam Church Online. If you want us to get in touch with you, please get in touch with us on the contacts on the screen. We will be happy to join you and to discuss with you any issues that may be of help. God bless you. See you next time.